Hello guys, good morning. How you guys doing today, this morning? I don't know what time it is. I don't know why I'm looking for a watch. Um, got some projects. Got home yesterday. Um, I could have been home at like midnight on Tuesday. Tuesday morning, midnight, but I decided to stop at uh, Dove Springs, a little Red Rock Canyon. Decided to stop and uh, slept for about five hours. Got there at 11. Slept till 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, um, anyway, you, whatever. Postal Service asked me to subscribe or something. Um, anyway, got some projects this weekend. Uh, I've been cleaning the house out a little bit. Or I say weekend, but it's my, it's my weekend. It's my week. So, ordered some hub-centric rings. This is just going to be a little video. I always do a little intro video to all my videos for the days I'm off. Um, ordered some uh, hub centric rings. So 84.1 millimeter from here to 71.6 millimeter. So I called a couple places, Discount Tire and other places. This is 84.1, but they're saying it's 84. And that's 71.6, and they're saying that's 71.5 millimeter. So the point, point 0.1 off whatever millimeter. Um, <clears throat> so ordered some from eBay, and who knows when they're going to get here. They've been sitting in this customs status since the, I don't know, I don't remember now. Um, 14th or something like that. I can't remember. Let me look it up. I hate coming on video and not remembering stuff. Cause my brain's everywhere. Um. Come on, stupid thing. Why do you gotta stay connected to Wi-Fi? Um. Anyway. Ordered them on May 9th. And May 14th. And today is... I don't know what today is. But, uh, they say, deliveries from China may be delayed. Expect estimated delivery June 18th. So, May 14th, import customs clearance complete. Um, and today is the 20th, May 20th. Um, so I ordered some of those from eBay. Who knows when they'll get here. And I found another company, uh, that sells the hub-centric... Uh, rings. Uh, Harbor Freight sent me a uh, recall notice for jack stands. However, I checked both of my jack stands and neither one of them are part of the recall. So, uh, this website, US Hub Centric Dash Rings. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Um, let's see if I can zoom in. Uh, hubcentric-rings.com found them they have exactly what I need um, 84.1 to 71.6 millimeter they were 25 bucks they are getting shipped delivered when I don't know uh, they were shipped out yesterday actually they were shipped out Monday and today is Wednesday I think I hope today is Wednesday Anyway, uh, yeah, let me get back to what I was getting at. So hopefully I get those in so I can put those wheels on on the uh, Audi. Um, got my truck started back there. So I ordered the kid's truck some parts. His uh, climate control switch isn't working. Well, it works, but you got to, you know, move it up and down, move it up and down. A bunch of times to get it working um, so this is a uh, the switch for the climate control the blower motor HS 203 T so the T is a uh, for air conditioning if you get a HS 203 it's non air conditioning um, and then I've bought him a washer windshield washer pump because his windshield washer pump is leaking like crazy so his is leaking 
like in between here right in between there somewhere so and he ordered a new radio um so i got these two parts for his truck so good thing he ordered a new radio because we got to take that bezel off and then if we take the bezel off we can take this off he didn't know i ordered this stuff and i didn't know he ordered a radio um which was kind of cool um his radio if you go back to the first gen cummins uh playlist um you can find out the install on that we did an install on his we did a one and a half din or maybe it was a single din to a dual din app radio um yaka waka wawa i don't remember the radio name is yum yum baba i can't remember it's some chinese brand and uh, it works good when it's connected but when it's it takes forever to connect. He says it takes about nine or ten minutes to connect his Bluetooth. He's tried updating it. He's tried doing a lot of stuff. And uh, the the screen, the actual screen part itself started to lift away and pull away from the radio. So it's kind of junk. So there'll be a video for that. We're gonna. I don't. I think I'm gonna tell him just to leave the truck here and take my truck to work, and then I'll do these parts so I can film it, do whatever. And, uh, yeah, so this week I got, hopefully I get my rings for the wheels so I can put them on there, take it to American Tire, Discount Tire, have them balanced. Um, I was going to paint them, but I think it now, I don't really care. I'm not going to paint them. So hopefully I get the rings. We'll do that this week. Uh, we'll install these, windshield washer motor, uh, the blower motor switch um and oh yeah uh, i'm gonna try i'm gonna i'm gonna take my bumpers off the fourth gen and try to paint them so we got uh gloss white which i'm not gonna use so we got semi-gloss semi-gloss um and semi-gloss so i got three cans of semi-gloss just in case because you guys know i love painting um, I got some primer, so we'll prime them this color, even though these have um, semi-gloss enamel, I thought they had primer in them, maybe that's this one, I don't know, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe it's this other can that I had from before yeah this is it so it's paint and primer so um i won't be using this can because it's not from the same batch so i'm going to be using these four cans of krylon rust protector semi-gloss enamel dries in eight minutes up to 15 times faster than the leading rust competitor fast dry and protective finish superior corrosion protection direct to metal um Oh, that's a big button. Big button spray anyway. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go pull the truck up here. And uh, it's actually not supposed to be too hot today, tomorrow. It's supposed to be just like in the 80s. So I'm going to go get the truck. Do that. And i got to clean up some more. Sorry for the wind. It's going to get windy. Got to clean up some more trash um, that I got back here in the backyard. Sorry, it's windy, guys. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to pull the truck up there. And uh, we'll get started on pulling these bumpers off this truck. And I'm going to try to straighten a couple of the dents on them. So, all right, guys. Stay tuned for those videos. Subscribe, please. Give me a like if you like. If you don't, it don't matter. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do. Later.